M0FXP, welcome back to my videos on the ATS120D. Just updated the firmware. Isn't it interesting that this device has this kind of antenna? Okay, and the new you, the new TK11 does as well. Anyway, I thought I'd just show it you. Oh, it looks fantastic. It's now got SSTV. Look at that, you know, that waterfall. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. You know, like... There you are, someone calling CQ on 40 meters, 7 megahertz. Same, shame we can't reply. USB-C charging, earphone socket. It's using the external antenna, but as you saw, if I unplug it, it will just carry on using the extendable one. If I go outside, it will pick up something, but if I touch, watch it, if I touch the antenna on it, no, it's not going to do it. I thought I could show you some magic, but no. Anyway, plug it back in. And um, long wire, 49 to 1 ballon. Now, imagine if this, because they brought out all these new radios. The Radtel 880, the iRadio UV... 98 but imagine if this was a transceiver but anyway can't actually remember i mean it's sounding brilliant but i can't actually remember if it's what bands if it does air band i know it does cb and it does all the hf bands so let's hit band see there fm long wave medium wave and then all these bands i'm looking for two meters Obviously, we're on HF now, but yeah, it's a very wide receive. Back to HF. Go mode, and this is where you'll see that if you go digi, uh, it will do SSTV, RTTY, of course, FTA, FT4. There's your SSTV window. Exit. I could have, you can press start there. Um, let's look now now to update the firmware it's nice and easy i'll just show you the mode again as you can see we did have am there but it's did it go to am yes it has highlighted am i think maybe attenuate a step yeah no it is am isn't it let's go next and if you want to update the firmware go to setup you've got rds as well for the radio you've got retro style as well i think these are about a hundred pound now <laughs> sounding good enough for now it went green does it go green when it's on frequency you can turn on the just tap and turn on the bluetooth look there and I've done it, it's if I grab my little speaker here, it might work. It worked the other day. It would just automatically pair. You need some charge in it, it flashes and then it pairs. That sounds quite good, and it's paired. I'll leave that there. Connected, we've got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth simultaneous, which I like. To update, go to, you got scan as well, but go set up, then go next, keep going next until you see the, the word firmware update. Now it will prompt you, if I got Russian menus there, I'm going to have to change that, aren't I? Uh, I know how to do it, I made a video doing that, that's my fault. I'm not going to do it in this one, but eventually you'll see the word firmware. When you tap it and you go to update... Uh, it'll prompt you if you haven't got Wi-Fi, and then you connect to Wi-Fi, and it automatically does it. Just make sure that you buy one. 
That's exit. Make sure that you buy one that's got a license key built into it. I always do. Um, it's a bit of a pain getting a license key. You can get them and they're friendly, but it's, you know, you have to put a message on a forum and then someone sends you back a message and then you pay them money. I don't know, $20, whatever. 20, I think it was $20. And then they send you a key, and then you got to put it in, and you got to activate it. It's a bit of a pain. So, anyway, yeah, excellent. Bye for now, 7-3. Catch you on now, all the best.